Hey guys, I recently purchased a uh, main stage three and also a Behringer FCB 1010 MIDI pedal. It took me a little while to get them working together, so I thought I'd take a few moments to share with other people what it took to make it work and hopefully save you a little bit of time. I referenced a lot of these things off of other YouTube channels, uh, and I'd credit them if I remembered who they were, but I, I don't. So um, thanks to those guys who already figured some of this out for me. Um, anyhow, first thing I want to point out is with the Behringer FCB 1010, I... Um, I bought, uh, on the guidance of another YouTuber, uh, the IFCB software from Wabbit Ranch. You can look that up on YouTube. It's Wabbit like Rabbit Ranch with W's instead of R's. Um, I bought the software. It was 20 bucks, well worth the money because it saves me having to read any manuals. Instead, I can just click buttons, which is what I like to do. So, um, the uh, IFCB software allows me to program the pedal appropriately and uh, and so let's take a look at what I did here with main stage three. I wanted to build a looping uh, device so I could play, to, you know, lay down a track with my guitar um, and then add another track on top of that without, you know, hands off everything, uh, just regular looping type device. So I built that device. Uh, this is what it looks like. Very simple. Um, and I've got the, the various buttons here that represent my foot pedals. Uh, when I first did it, I clicked on a button, I clicked a sign, and then I stepped on a pedal on the Behringer expecting that it was going to uh, was going to assign that thing to do what I wanted it to do, but it never worked. Um, so after getting the IFCB software and watching some other videos, I realized what was going wrong. Um, the, the program change buttons over here were originally selected. I'm gonna move up to a different bank. You can see I'm on bank zero, zero here. I'm gonna to move to bank zero, one and step on a pedal. You'll see I've got a program change 11 set for this pedal. Nothing under the control changes, nothing under the switch and expression pedals you can see. Um, and so that was controlling which patch I was running out of main stage, but it was not selecting the individual settings within main, main stage. So I found the way to do that, remove the program changes, and instead use control changes. So you can see right here, program change has been removed from this pedal and replaced. Uh, again, I'm back on bank zero. Pedal one, I've got set check mark 16 for the control change and value of 127. Switch enabled uh, SW1 and the expression pedals set to 27 and 28 with minimum and maximum values of 0 and 127. I don't know much of what any of these things mean beyond what, uh, what you can guess and I have guessed, um, but basically uh, it worked. I set this pedal according to these values, moved on to step uh, pedal 2, changed this 16 to a 17, the other values all remain the same, 3 is an 18, 4 is 19, and so on, all the way up uh, through these pedals. Um, so I, I set up bank 1 to operate according to those parameters. Click to send. Um, it tells you how to go about uh, sending those values. What do you need to do to st set the pedal to work properly and receive those values? And when that was done, I simply came back over to a main stage selected a pedal, selected a sign, and stepped on the pedal on the uh, FCB 1010, and it did assign it appropriately. You'll see if I step on pedal 2, that now changed to 17, which is what I had pedal number 2 set to. And whenever I step on a pedal, you see all the values show up up here of what's getting, uh, getting stepped on. So I'm going to put this uh, number 1 back to 16, I went through each of these pedals, selecting 17, stepped on that pedal, 18, I stepped on pedal 3, I moved this one uh, over, I created a separation uh, over to pedal number 5, uh, because this one clears the recording, I don't want to do that by accident. Did the same with the bottom set of, uh, of pedals, signing 21, 22, 23, 25, and down here you can see I have... Uh, another button, this one is to turn the metronome on and off. So I went through, stepped on each of the pedals as I selected each of the buttons. And when I was done, I removed a sign and then it worked. 
So if we go back over to the edit screen, you can see now that I can step on my various pedals and change the values that come in, including if I step on pedal number four, I turn on my metronome and turn it back off. So that's what I did. I hope this was helpful to you, and uh, I'll put up another video later on discussing how I created this looping track and everything else that I learned as I go. Thanks a lot. Cheers.